ਅਸੀਂ ਸਿੰਸ 2014 ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਹੈਸ ਕਮ ਫਾਰਵਰਡ ਵਿਦ ਦਿਸ ਟ੍ਰੈਨਿਟੀ ਜਨ ਧਨ ਆਧਾਰ ਐਂਡ ਮੋਬਾਈਲ ਐਂਡ ਆਧਾਰ ਇਟਸ ਦ ਓਨਲੀ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਵਿਚ ਇਜ਼ ਇਨੇਬਲਿੰਗ ਦ ਵੈਰੀਫਿਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਦ ਪੀਪਲ ਇਨ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਫਾਰ ਐਕਸਟੈਂਡਿੰਗ ਆਲ ਕਾਈਂਡ ਆਫ ਸਪੋਰਟਸ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਹੈਲਪ ਵਿਚ ਦ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਇਜ਼ ਟ੍ਰਾਂਸਫਰਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਦੇਅਰ ਸਿਟੀਜ਼ਨਸ ਆਧਾਰ ਹੈਸ ਮੇਡ ਇਟ ਵੈਰੀ ਈਜ਼ੀ ਐਂਡ ਬਾਈ ਯੂਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਆਧਾਰ ਆਈ ਵੁੱਡ ਲਾਈਕ ਟੂ ਟੈਲ ਯੂ ਦੈਟ ਦ ਕੀ ਵਾਈ ਸੀ ਚਾਰਜਸ ਆਰ ਦ ਕੀ ਵਾਈ ਸੀ ਐਕਸਪੈਂਡੀਚਰ ਇਟ ਹੈਸ ਕਮ ਡਾਊਨ ਫਰਮ 12 ਡਾਲਰ ਟੂ 6 ਸੈਂਟਸ ਓਨਲੀ and it is universal transparent accountable and now everybody whatever uh, benefits or whatever schemes they are going to be down the line through the uh, system for the citizens they are using aadhar and uh, we have been very helpful uh, in uh, uh, stopping the leakage of around 8000 crore uh, by using this aadhar system and as uh, in the session also the speaker from the gujarat was saying that uh, almost every scheme in the in their state they are using this aadhar to stop the leakage the same is the story in uttar pradesh also not a single penny is being transferred to the beneficiary without their ekyc and that's why we have been able to transfer the money completely and directly into the account of the holders so the, we have launched that program that nivesh mitra portal where almost more than 50 uh, departments of uttar pradesh they are on board and uh, anybody who wants to start a business in uttar pradesh they simply have to apply going through that uh, portal they have to make an application on there and that's it taken care by the departments and every service every noc every permission that is time bound and we have also linked it with the janhit guarantee act where if you do not if you if a particular department of an officer if he fails to discharge his duty within a prescribed limit prescribed the prescribed time he is supposed to pay the fine also so more than 1 million nocs and permissions we have issued during the last few years uh, using this platform and it has actually uh, enabled us to improve our position from 10th to 2nd in ease of doing business and as india is also doing better at the global uh, platform level we uh, at the country level we have uh, made this uh, whole uh, scenario of bringing industry bringing capital and bringing investment into our states that is quite smoothing now a uh, up budget has been growing um, day by day and uh, in the uh, year 2016 17 it was merely around 3 lakh crore and now we are heading towards a budget of having more than 7 lakh crore this uh, 23 24 budget size is more than 7 lakh crore and out of which more than 5.59 lakh crore uh, we are going to spend in revenue side and rest in the capital side so up budget is more focusing towards uh, this uh, capital investment creating assets and bringing employment through that and as far as our budget highlights are concerned we are focusing more into the area which may generate more employment health is our priority sector and up being an agricultural state agriculture is also our priority state sector and uh, we are also focusing on the new age technology the new age sectors also like up is bringing up new pharmaceutical policy up is bringing up a new um, uh, film sit- film center and film city in greater noida we are also already are establishing a new data center that is going one of the biggest data center in the in the country and this hiranandani group of uh, mumbai they are they are making this data center and uh, uh, as far as these financial norms are concerned frbm restrictions are concerned and financial disciplines are concerned we are also well within the limit and uh, up is also a revenue surplus state since last 2 3 years and although because of the covid spill over uh, during last few years we fell short of around 20000 crore in our renew- revenue re- realization but this year we are going to cross that and uh, thankfully we are not been red flagged by the rbi also as far as our debt to gdp ratio is concerned so it's a progressive budget and we are spending more in the field of education health agriculture and service sector we are more focusing more on that